Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I got something in the mail. I'm super excited about it and I thought let's film a flip through. Maybe that's what you need to get your mojo back on. I will hopefully not have to do a whole lot of editing. I noticed when I um, prepared this video that I will have at least a couple of pages where I'm going to put the pattern names in because I um, I prepared this magazine a little bit so I don't show you the patterns and I stuck some pages together So there are a couple of pages where I decided to stick the, the pages following together because all the little ornaments were In the very same size they were on the next pages on this one summary page and I thought well I don't have to show every single page if the the model isn't shown any bigger on this page and there's literally just the pattern on it and I have to stick post-it notes over it, um, so save some trees. But uh, then I realized that of course also the, the designer names are on those pages and um, I hope you can read all the designer names when I flip through because I don't plan to read it all out. Um, but I think I am close enough to the magazine that you should be able to read it, but let's see. So this is the Just Cross Stitch Halloween edition for 2021. It was just released. Um, it has been announced for quite a bit, but I think it only just came out um, a few weeks ago, actually. And um, with the new challenge to get everything, at least from an EU shop, it took me a little bit longer this year to order this. Um, last year I ordered it from One Two Stitch. This year I sourced it locally and I finally found a shop here in Germany that stocks it and sells it as a uh, at a reasonable, reasonable, reasonable price. So words, I'm not good with words. Uh, my mind is very jumbled. I'm still super tired. I'm sleeping, but it seems like it's not not the type of sleep you need to regenerate anything. So <laughs> That's where we are right now. I'm trying to work with natural light today It comes in a little bit cool as far as I can see from my screen but I hope that it will keep the glare to a minimum because um, if I put my lamp on, we all know um, that this will glare all over the pages. They are just a tiny bit glossy like magazine pages are. So let's see. Yeah, Halloween, my favorite time of the year. Um, I think I mentioned this last year, Halloween isn't a big thing in Germany, but I have been very smitten with this holiday. I think since the time I was like 17, 18, that's when I first fully immersed myself into it and um, I just love it. Orange is not my thing, but if it's mixed in with Halloween, I, I'm orange. <laughs> so um, Every year, Just Cross Stitch magazine comes out with a few special editions, one of which is usually Halloween and then there's also a Christmas special edition. I showed you the 2020 edition on my channel last year as well. I don't remember if it was just a flip through or if I did the flip through as part of a floss tube. I have to go back and check but um, there was a flip through at some point and if I can find it I will either link it in the eye or more likely in the description box down below. Um, yeah. But I did the flip through and as far as I remember you actually liked it so I thought I would do it this year because especially I think this year's magazine is... I don't know if it's me because I, I'm gra craving stitching something Halloween right now. I have no Halloween whip at all um, so I'm, I'm really craving that and um, that might be the reason but I think this edition is so much better than the previous ones so it might be just me. All right, so we have our first page and this is what I mean with the summary page. I have all the following pages marked off, but in the next few summary pages thingies, I am not going to show every single page. So first up are the black cats. You know me, cats are just my thing. Um, also cute stuff is just my thing. So the first, first pattern that jumped at me was this one here, but I also absolutely adore him. <laughs> he is just awesome. This I recognized right away. This is a Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and I was not wrong about that. So 
these are the individual pages and I hope that this is blocked out enough that the pattern cannot be copied in any way um, but I think it is so let's let's hope for the best if not I'm sorry just cross stitch magazine I have to check out stitching in the rain I've never heard about it but this cat just I adore it oh this is very very easy to see so let's put the hand over it um, yeah, so this is a Lindy Stitches. She put out a cat um, parrot that is very much in the same uh, style last year as well. It was the same black cats, but I think a lot of text about it. So this might actually go very well together. And I think I wanted to stitch last year's pattern too. So like I said, this is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery pattern, um, which actually is told here <laughs> have a pause on Halloween um, yeah I'm very partial to frosted pumpkin you know that so maybe I'm going to do this I don't know I'm trying to stay away from the stitch alongs and so far frosted pumpkin has not announced if they are doing a Halloween stitch along this year and they have not posted any sneak peeks yet I mean it's only July it's still time but I'm trying to stay away from any stitch along, so maybe I will just instead try to do this one. But it's not on the short list right now. Um, they have one of Elizabeth Spurlock's um, adap adaptations of the um, cat paintings. I don't know the full name of this artist. They just say it's Syra R. But she does this chalk art and she does a lot of cats and owls. And every year they have one of these cats in the magazines. So this year it's this um, cat with the spider web. And um, as always, I'm very much in love with them. I have not, I've not done any of them yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to because this is very full coverage and you know me, I'm not the biggest full coverage person, so maybe, maybe not. I think if I did it though, I would probably substitute the floss they used for the spiderweb for something sparkly. Not entirely sure I like the, the gray. So then we have again. Forget what the witch. Uh, forget the witch. Worry about the cat. Uh, yeah, very true. Uh, this pattern is by uh, and I stuck it together like I said. Medina Originals. So if a page only has a pattern on it, I have stuck it together just in case you're wondering. Witchy Stitcher. This just this just screams witchy Stitcher. She has an Etsy shop, if you are not aware, but you probably are if you're watching this video. She has an Etsy shop and she has the best gothic Halloween quirky patterns you can imagine. She just recently released a goth sloth. It kills me. <laughs> I absolutely need to do that one. So I'm glad she is in this magazine and I love this little... Um, cat off the, out of the box because this is just mm, the colors this this turquoise green or it's it's teal according to the floss name I dig it I absolutely dig it it goes so well with the orange and it's very different because usually you get green and purple so I really like that she did the teals with this so here we have the next few little ornaments in the summary page. I think I did not stick this one together. No, I did not. So we are going to through going to go through them one by one. But now we have the little monsters coming up. So we have Glurk the goblin. <laughs> he, his expression. I just I just want to do that one. He's just precious. Um we have zombie frog. I'm not sure I would call that a zombie. These eyes do not look zombie to me. They look very mad, <laughs> like crazy <laughs> to me. Um, but yeah, he's he's cute too. Um, this though, that's a Doreen Jones. Also very easy to recognize her style. And I just love this. It reminds me of a couple of stamp sets I own. 
um, for card making with little monsters from a German company actually. So this reminds me a lot of that and again these colors I just mm, I seem to be a bit on a, on a turquoise and teal period right now because yeah yeah I'm calling it my turquoise and peel and teal stitching period. Um, we have the little witch. I'm not really evil. I've just been in a very bad mood for 20 years. Yeah, I, I can sympathize. And then of course the little monster who wants to party. <laughs> just so cute. Then we have this um, samplerish thing. Not my favorite. Sorry, not quite my style. Same for this. Um, what are these things called? Biscornu, right? Um, yeah, a bit too simple for me. But you can't love everything. For whatever reason, though, I love this signpost here. I I have no idea why. I know I would hate stitching this from start to end because this is full coverage for all the little elements. It is a lot of text and then just filling in the boxes. Absolutely not my cup of tea and I adore it. <laughs> Which happens several more times in this. So did I stick this together? No, I didn't either. Hmm. So why did I decide to do that in the second half of the magazine? I don't know. So the next few patterns are pumpkin themed. And first up is spider stitches. This is absolutely on my short list. Uh, maybe I can give a bit of a close up to show it a little better. I just, I've seen a lot of patterns this year that um, have the topic of stitching and cross stitching and I've loved them all. Um, like, uh, <sighs> Luminous Fiber Arts. That took me a while. I'm sorry. Um, she released a pattern called Counting is Hard. And that tickled me really the right way. So I want to do that one. But these little spiders stitching the pumpkin. Oh, it's so cute. I'm sorry if you um, have a spider phobia. But um, I just wanted to show you a little more close up. Then we have these two cuties. And this has to be my favorite out of all of them because I have a really um, soft spot for these Mexican sugar dolls, I think they are called, the La Catrinas. Um, and this is a pumpkin in that style. I adore it. It is so colorful. Um, this should also be the quickest stitch ever because this is just like 44 by 32. So yeah, adore it. Okay. The piece that made me buy the magazine in the first place. I mean, there is not a much, there's not much of a chance I wouldn't have bought it because Halloween and um, I've bought it last year and I think I have, yeah, I, I think I have a, a CD <laughs> or DVD rather. Um, Just Cross Stitch has released their um, magazines on, on DVD. So like five years worth of their regular ones. And I think I have all the Halloween ones from the 90s back up to 2010 something so um, I have a lot of them so it was pretty certain I would get it but this piece it is on the cover as you might have seen down here was the reason why I got this this is one of two autumn lane stitchery patterns that is in here autumn lane stitchery um, is also the designer behind the dark queen of the sea and you know how much I love that one and uh, Aaron has outdone himself. I mean, what's not to love? <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to go through my floss after I'm done with this video to see what I need to buy. This is going to be stitched this year. I have not decided yet if I'm going to stitch for or with the season. I think I'm going this year, I'm going to stitch with the season. And uh, that means this could be a new start for October. It is so cute. This is stitched on 28 count picture this plus Pansy Lugana. So I'm going to stitch this on linen, unsurprisingly, but I should have some purple linen in my stash. 
I've bought a lot of that, so there should be a piece there. And 28 count is actually my preferred um, fabric count next to 36, so perfect. Then we have this little pumpkin. I'd turn back if I were you. <laughs> This one down here is also very cute. Um, it is not on the short list, but it is one of my favorite patterns out of this magazine. I just adore all the details they managed to squeeze in here. And um, even though I probably would hate myself doing it, but I like the backstitching they have used. There's a lot of backstitching on this small piece here. Um, it's a bit of a yoga corn situation. I love the look. I hate doing it. <laughs> oh yeah, there was a lot of a lot of pattern going on so I stuck this together and there's this little ghost with the cat and the pumpkin to make this basket thingy it's very simple very very simple and then we have a bunch of more ornaments um, with drinks except for this one here this is a bit out of the trend here, out of the pattern. This drink is a spirited goblet, very colorful, very cute. Not my favorite, but my favorite would be Nightmare Before Coffee. This is number one on the list, so I'm going to stitch the cat with the pumpkins and I'm going to stitch this one for sure. That's going to be the two patterns I will kit up and I hope I can get them done in October. They are not too big, so I think this should be doable. Even with the stitch alongs going on that are still running in October. But I also love this one. I don't know, it's very simple, but I just... There's a lot that speaks to me in this, in this issue. These two are not exactly my favorites, but the sampler. I don't know what it is. I want to do this sampler so bad. So, so bad. So this is by Historic Handworks. Never heard of them, but I dig it. I think this might be a project for uh, another year, but I absolutely adore it. Same for this one. I am absolutely no fan of stitching words. You know me. I find stitching words to be horrendously boring <laughs> but this is absolutely speaking to me i'm trying my best to keep myself from kidding all of these things up and trying to start them another one a lot of words a lot of backstitching i want to do it i'm not going to do it but i love it so this is by ursula michael for sullivan's so this will for sure use, yep, yeah, Sullivan's Floss. And it is just adorable. <laughs> it just is. This little gift card holder is killing me. I think there are actually two in this magazine. So this is um, the little ghost. And I think I could even do this. I mean, this is stitched on Ada. Um, that makes it a bit easier to handle the fabric because Ada is... Um, a very different weave and I think it's not as fry happy fray happy fray happy um, so yeah I think even I could do this with my very limited uh, sewing skills but you know me I would prefer to do it on linen ah yeah so this is where I decided to just stick the following pages together because I realized that the model and um, the picture shown on the summary page is basically the same size. Um, so there was literally no reason to go through all this again. But we have the winged things um, portion of the magazine. And I think these five are not exactly my favorite patterns. But I think my favorite out of the five is, is this one because of the bunnies. <laughs> the bunnies are so unusual. Um, so I think this might be my favorite out of them. But I don't plan to stitch any of them. This is the second Autumn Lane stitchery pattern. And I'm not as much in love with it. 
as I am with the cats, but there's just something about it. There's just really something about it. Aaron really has a thing with faces. I mean, this is just an owl. <coughs> but it just looks great. So I have a feeling I will do this one at some point. Then we have this little wreath with um, the owls and that pattern. Uh, that pattern is by Gail Bossy. I hope that was right. Um, also very cute. Prefer the other owl. Then we have the woeful wreath. I like this one. That bird reminds me for one of a dead bird, but also a bit of the pest doctor thing I've seen a lot because of uh, weird beer box. <laughs> so it's a bit of a mixture. And I like that it's actually pretty colorful with the purple and the orange flowers and stuff. So not too bad. Not on the short list either though. This is a Rosewood Manor. Um, I think this is, would this be a fracture? I probably should look into what the different things mean. Not my favorite though, not exactly my style. And then we have the witches and yeah. <laughs> so adorable. This one is actually by Wild Violet Crossage, and I am not surprised. She is super talented, quirky, and I love it. Uh, speaking of super talented and I love it, I love this. I love this so much. <sighs> I love the little witch, but the cat, the cat just takes the cake. Look at this face. Isn't this just perfect? But it's overall, it's it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. So this designer is um, Anna Gutova and um, her brand is Art Mishka. So I guess this is one of the Russian designers. This would very much fit into what I'm looking at because this looks very talented Russian designer who likes to annoy me with partial stitches and blends and stuff like that. <laughs> And I just adore these patterns. Um, there are some half stitches in here. All the fence here is done in half stitches. Um, that makes it go very quickly. I like that for the backgrounds. The Russian designers often do that. And then we have these little Halloween gnomes. It seems like this year you can't get by these gnomes. They are everywhere. So this is by always time to stitch. And this is already the last pattern of the magazine, sadly. And this is also one I want to stitch so bad. And I have no idea why. Because it's basically just words in backstitch, nothing else. <laughs> Sometimes even words in backstitch. But <laughs> I just want to do it. It's so true. It needs to go up my kitchen bowl. Look at the spiders. I'm just... <laughs> so that is it I find this magazine to be very exciting and even the advertisement on the back side of it already got me because I need this in my life just saying <laughs> so I hope you like this I'm trying to remember to put in the names for the four patterns um, that you didn't see where I stuck the pages together uh, for the witches, I think it was, and also for the one with the winged things. So, I'm trying to remember that. Let's, fingers crossed, hope for the best. Um, Lola, my little furry sister, is, by the way, over there in her cardboard box, snoring up a storm. It is hilarious. <laughs> She's very sleepy. I don't know if she is um, all the way back to being better. She... She seems a bit down to me, to be honest. And yes, cats can be depressed. I'm not saying my cat is depressed, but she is not her usual self quite yet. It's been a week now since, since her surgery. So maybe she's not really plowing through it like she used to in her younger years, which probably would be normal. But yeah, sleeping a lot, 
being very cuddly in the night um, when we are in bed and for the rest of the day I am mostly ignored to be honest it's breaking my heart <laughs> but that being said I hope you enjoyed this uh, I am going to try to be back soonish I have given up now on any type of planning I'm just going to go with the flow until then I hope you have a wonderful time and I'll be back as soon as I can Bye all.